Congratulations and thank you for purchasing your Oz RV SL Superlight. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up the kitchen and operate the electrics on your trailer. To set up the kitchen, you'll need the three legs that come with it. Two, have a U-channel at the top, quick release cam lock at the bottom for adjustment, and the other one has a white cap with a slot in the top, and again, a cam lock adjustment. Place them down there. To open your kitchen up, release the locks. To make it easy, before I open the door, I'm just going to take the cap out of the gas bayonet. That's where we connect our gas for the cooktop. Holding the kitchen in place are two lockable slides, a blue handle at each side. Press that down and pull the kitchen out. Now we can grab the handle built into the chassis and slide the kitchen all the way out. Now it's locked into place. Before we go any further, we'll grab our support legs and put them underneath the kitchen. They slot onto the rail either side. And away we go. We also have a slide out drawer which also acts as a little extension table. Our pole with the slot sits underneath the lip at the end. And adds additional support. Now we can take out our gas hose from the back, pass it underneath and connect it up underneath the door. Inside your kitchen drawer will be a length of blue hose with a male quick connect each end. The female fittings are here and on the front of the kitchen. Simply pop them in, the collar will click out and secure it. It's now connected. Just here beside it is a small plug. That is for our LED light that sits on top of the kitchen. That plugs in just underneath the water fitting. And the LED light is connected on the side of the windshield with a plastic clip. Now we can open up our cooktop and set up the windshield. To do that, lift them up, bring them around, and either side of the cooktop is a couple of holes for it to slot into. That's set up. You can move a light around to suit yourself or unclip it if you want to move it around with more radius. Packing down the kitchen is exactly the reverse procedure of setting it up. First, we'll pack up our cooktop, pull our windshields out, fold them back out of the way and secure them. Now we can close the cooktop up. Disconnect the water by pulling back the collar. And there's our hose out of the way. We can stow that in the drawer. Don't forget to disconnect the power to the LED light. And it's important to push the wire back into its little captive area there. And the rubber grommet will hold the little plug in place. That's now secure. We can undo our gas. and the gas is out of the way. Before we go too much further, I'll tuck the gas hose up underneath the kitchen. Packing up the rest is easy. Remove our kitchen legs. Place them out of the way slide our little table in. Then we can slide the kitchen all the way back in. To do that, press down the blue tabs. 
make sure that when you push it in all the way, give it a nudge. Check that it's locked in securely and close the hatch up and put your legs away. Now we can move on to the electrical. The controls for your electrical are on the right hand side of the camper trailer here behind this door. What I have here is the main control panel. It has all your switches. At the very top, we have a 50 amp resettable mega fuse. What that does is it fuses the Anderson plug from your vehicle. So if all of a sudden it stops charging from the vehicle, check this and make sure it doesn't need resetting. If it's in that position, it needs to be reset by pushing the little lever back in. Here we have our water tank level gauge. At the top, our battery percentage. That'll tell you the battery condition at any time. Below, the voltage of the battery, and below that, the amp usage of the camper. That will tell you how many amps are leaving the batteries. It won't tell you how many are going in. Below that, we have a row of resettable circuit breakers. If a particular circuit stops working, it means the little button has popped out, come to the circuit and press it in to reset. Across the bottom here, we have our switches. On the left here is our main power switch. Switch that on and you'll have power to the other circuits. We have our fridge power, power to the sockets, power to the lights and power to the water pump. If you're operating a fridge while you're traveling, you'll need to have the light switch on, which will also power the fan to run air through the fridge storage box and the fridge switch, which will supply power to the Anderson plug fitting that runs your fridge. If you're not running a fridge, you can have both of those turned off and your camper will still charge while you're driving. And that folks is how you set up the kitchen and electrical on your Oz RV SL Superlight. Be sure to check out our many instructional videos on our YouTube channel and get across to our website and download the owner manual for your product. This is our commitment to you, the customer, to make sure once you purchase your product, you get the very best out of it.